In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create this abstract shapes zoom animation. Hey everyone, my name is Manuel and let's get started. I've already created a comp. Now let's add some shapes. We double click on the rectangle tool to add a new shape layer. Let's choose a fill color. I am going for purple. Let's name it of course. This is our background. We need more shapes. Duplicate it, Command or Control D. Rename it, Center. And open the Rectangle Path property to change the size. We deselect constraint proportions and set the size to 700 by 700 pixels. Let's change the fill color to white. Next we duplicate this layer. Command or Control D. Rename it, Left. Because we move it to the left by minus 700 pixels. The width of the shape. We simply subtract 700 pixels from the current value and After Effects does the math. And let's change the fill color to a quite red orange maybe. Let's duplicate this layer, name it right. We open the position property, P is the shortcut. And move it plus 1400 pixels to the right this time. Twice the width. Change the fill color into pink. Awesome. We've created three shapes, now we need to animate them. And therefore, we use the create nulls from path script. We open the path property of the center shape, select the rectangle path, right click and convert it into a busy path. With the path selected, we go to window in the top menu and all the way down. And select points follow nulls, which creates four null objects, one for each corner point. Let's give them more obvious names. Top right, bottom right, bottom left, top left. So the four corner points of the shape follow four null objects. Then we repeat that for the other two shapes. We select the path, convert it to a Bezier path and apply the create nulls from path script. Points follow nulls. Next, we relink some of the points of the left and right shapes. So we want the point on the top right corner of the left shape to be controlled by the top left null of the center point. It's path point 110. We go to the layer control, which is named like the path point and select the top left point instead. We don't need the originally linked null anymore. We delete it. The point now follows the top left null. Then let's relink the bottom right point of the left shape, point 111. We want this point to follow the bottom left null object of the center shape. We delete the null we don't need anymore. Let's check it. <laughs> awesome! Let's repeat that for the right shape. We want the two left points to follow the two right nulls of the center shape. Awesome! Let's add another null object. Name it. Rotation, scale, sky, inner. And we link the four null objects that belong to the center shape to the null object. And if we, for example, rotate the null object, this happens. Or scale it. We add one more null object, which we name rotation scale outer. And we link these four remaining outer null objects to it. Awesome. For more content, you might want to join my newsletter. It'll help you to improve as a motion designer. Link is in the description below. Let's animate these shapes. We need a pre-roll of one second. So we go to one second in the timeline and open the rotation and scale properties of both null objects. For the inner points, we set scale to zero. Add a keyframe and we add a rotation keyframe. The outer points, we deselect constraint proportions for the scale property and set the second value to zero. Add a keyframe and set a rotation keyframe. Then we move to 2 seconds and 12 frames. Set scale of the inner points to around 280% so that the whole screen is white. And the rotation to 90 degrees. The outer null objects, less rotation, 20 degrees. And we set scale back to 100% each. The corners aren't good yet. There's still the left and right shape visible. So let's increase the scale until they are out of the screen. Awesome! One thing left to do. 
We use the center shape as alpha track mat for the background. Invert it to make the center transparent. All right, we duplicate the shape at least twice here in the project window and change the colors of the background, left and right shape. Next, we select all three comps in the project window and add them to a new comp. A single composition, five seconds long. We name the new comp Zoom. To easily adjust the in points of the layers, let's right click on this bar here, which opens the columns menu. And let's add the in column. Here are the in points of all layers. We click on the first one and adjust it. Let's set the first in point at minus one second and 12 frames. The second one at minus 12 frames. Then at zero. Let's duplicate the three comps, move them below. And let's set the next in point at 12 frames. Then one second. And finally, one second and 12 frames. The timing is totally up to you, of course. Awesome. Then I animated this bouncing round shape by changing the position and slowly scaling it down. You should check out the project file to see how I exactly did it. One trick I quickly wanted to show you is how I added the speed lines. I added a new shape layer, added a path, I selected all position keyframes of the round shape, copied them, then added a path keyframe to the new shape and pasted the motion path to it. I repositioned it, then added a stroke. Of course, deleted the path keyframes again. I added a trim path animator. All I had to do then is to animate the start and end value. For more content, you should join my newsletter. On the left side, I've added a video you might like. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye, everyone.